wants to use it. I guess I'd probably have to say yeah. They're the ultimate predator. I completely lose interest with other fish. It's serious stuff out there. You're going toe to toe with, with the lake's biggest fish. There's nothing else to fish for. When the time comes, when that fish is ready to eat, you've got to be perfect. You've got to perform. You've got to execute. And when you do, that's your moment, that's your fish. I think it's about the feeling that those fish can give you. You feel excited, you feel joy, but you also feel terror. I mean, sheer fright that this fish is going to get off the hook. Coming up. Nice work. That's what drives you, that's what keeps you motivated. You want to treat every cast like <laughs> it's going to be yeah. that moment that's going to make your season. <laughs> yeah. To me this is this is it right here. You've got a neat deal going in Minnesota in general. The way that the lakes have been stocked with muskies, you know, especially in the metro area, Twin Cities metro area, I mean, is you've got 15 lakes, you know, within short drive that all have trophy muskie potential. We're talking lakes that vary in size from a few hundred acres to, you know, you've got Minnetonka that's 15,000 acres. You've got, you know, 2,500 acre lakes that are deep, clear, uh, beautiful bodies of water that grow big fish. We're putting people on trophy fish every year out of the metro. Coming from being a hardcore whitetail bow hunter, I get the same rush out of musky fishing as I do big game hunting. You can share it with so many more people, you can spend so much more time on the water, and that's kind of why I made that transition. Oh yeah, fish deep. Most of us tackle manufacturers are, are basement builders. I mean, we're, we're at home, we're, we're building these baits out of our house, and we're constantly trying to find the new age bait, the new way to make these fish bite, the new hottest lure. If, if I didn't come out with something, you know, innovative in my own mind, there's no way I would even be doing this. If I could go back and not catch my first muskie, I would have no idea where I would be right now. I would probably have went to business college and become some salesman or done something crazy, but I found musky fishing, and musky fishing was my way. Hey, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Finally. Oh, man. Yes, sir. Dude. Sometimes musky fishing can feel a lot like work, and it is. Long days, I mean, you'll be fishing, you'll be casting big baits 10 hours a day and you can be hating life. It's tough. It's, there's some heartbreaking moments in the boat. 
it, it happens. Um, especially when you've got time, you've got sweat equity, you've got, you've got so much invested in, in these fish in, in that one moment. Got her. And Broke my rod. You know, whether it's your fault, whether it's equipment malfunction, whether it's just sheer bad luck, um, when you get a big girl that comes off, oh! it's tough. It's a tough pill to swallow. And the only cure for it is catching another fish. It's the only thing that'll make it go away. You dream about the upper 50s, the mid 50s, uh, 60 inches. You know, I mean, that's that's legendary stuff right there. That's those are boogeyman stories right there. Those fish are are they're in the bodies of water that we're fishing. You don't have to hop in a plane and go anywhere crazy. I mean, they're they're here. They're up here in the north. They're in Minnesota. They're in Wisconsin. They're in Canada. They're in Ontario. They're everywhere. You know, and that's what fuels us. That's what keeps us going out there. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Once you start musky fishing and having these experiences, hooking fish, missing fish, near misses, near hookups. I mean, you'll know what we're talking about. This sport is for adrenaline junkies. This fish will make you weak in the knees. And the moment that it stops doing that for me, I won't be fishing for them anymore. I want to catch a fish that makes that feeling never wear off. A super fish, a monster, something nobody's ever seen before. I want to chase that fish, I want to catch that fish. I don't know if that'll cure my obsession, my addiction, but it might help. <laughs>